Vídeo patrocinado por Enema.com, la tienda web donde encontraréis a precio reducido juegos y tarjetas para PlayStation, Xbox y Nintendo. Compra más barato y paga con tu moneda local, ya sea en Latinoamérica o España con total seguridad. Más información en el link de la descripción. Welcome to the Umbrella Chronicles, accessing file number 2498114. Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell to Earth. The T-virus was developed as a biological weapon, proliferating amongst the unsuspecting public. It metamorphosed them into living death zombies. Umbrella's mission statement had always been preserving the health of the people, but beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswald E. Spencer's ambition. End of file concerning the outbreak incident in Raccoon City. The truth behind the rise and fall of Umbrella is something to which only a select few are privy. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City in the Arklay Mountains. It was a stormy night when the leeches overwhelmed the Ecliptic Express. The Special Forces unit sent to investigate the area reported an emergency, but the announcement was suddenly cut off and followed only by silence and to the STARS unit member, Rebecca Chambers. Umbrella has been at the center of my plans for a long time, but the train incident would prove to be the beginning of the end. STARS here. Is anybody there? STARS here. Is anybody there? We put a hold on the whole arresting me thing. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Come on. Richard here. Rebecca, where are you? I'm not sure. 
sure, but I can see the entrance. All right. I'm heading to the mansion right now. We'll rendezvous there. Roger. So I'm guessing you need a bodyguard, right? No. Do you? Hold on! Thank you. Billy, I'm sorry, but I have to know. Did you really kill 23 people? We were ordered to attack the village. But orders don't justify slaughtering innocent people. That's the guy from the picture. Marcus? But you're dead! Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated and stole all of my research. However, something wondrous happened. The T-Virus fused with the leeches and brought me back from the darkness of death. Now, I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate. It's time to say goodbye. People are waiting for me. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Rebecca, thank you.
pair overcame impossible odds and made it out alive. Lucky, I suppose. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. The plans to reuse the management training facility were scrapped by Marcus's unfortunate outburst. Not only that, but the incident appeared to spread the virus to the area surrounding the mansion, causing a biohazard outbreak. It is time to abandon the sinking ship that is Umbrella. The virus is out. We can't hide this anymore. It appears Umbrella is finished. We're just gonna walk away? Our research isn't complete. We can make a more powerful virus. Do what you like. The T-Virus is near completion and only needs test data. That is why STARS is in place. I will bring them into the mansion. Damn it! I better get rid of this place before there are any more complications. Hmm. Might you be going, comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. But now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like. Maybe you need a little reminder. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything... for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion and the real struggle was about to begin. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare.
Rebecca! Richard? You're okay? I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Edward's dead. I see. It's not much better on my end, either. We got attacked by those things, and had to split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding, or... or... We just have to find Enrico. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First, we have to get to someplace safe. Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Let's move. Yeah. Rebecca! Are you all right? It's probably just us now. Help will come. I'm sure our captain is out there somewhere. So don't give up hope. Besides, I'll back you up. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? that thing. Did you get it? Come on, let's get out of here. up good. Some backup I made. <laughs> Richard. Don't make that face at me. <laughs> We've still gotta have hope. 
Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. I hated how hopeless I felt, seeing Richard lying there, wounded. I had to be stronger. I had to fight. And I had to survive. No matter what happened, I'll prove I have what it takes to survive. The mansion incident. That was the night I led the Star's Alpha Team into the Arklay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Bravo Team. At least, that was the fate. The reality was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha Team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. Soon, I would have the research data that I needed. <sighs> what is this hall? <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. It's dangerous going alone. I'll come with you. All right. I will stay and secure the area. No, we're too late! What's going on? Chris Redfield, from Alpha Team. Alpha Team? Thank goodness! Everything's okay now, Richard.
Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? Tonight was an excellent night for collecting data on Umbrella's biological weaponry and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. You... set the team up? Excellent deduction, Jill. That was Umbrella's intention anyway. However, I don't need them anymore. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's beautiful. like that here. I can't believe it. All of this was his doing. No time to worry about that now. We have to take this thing down. Wesker. A self-destruct device. We better get out of here now. <laughs> Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But... the team... We have to save that for later. Let's get moving. This way! We can radio Brad for help! It was near daybreak on July 25th when the incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, I felt the pain of coming death. However, this too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. I found the tyrant that killed me was dead, and the facility was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF. Zero, one, three. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, 
I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. Who are you? I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective you will regret is the protection this, my lady. of Umbrella that officer That, I lies. promise. Nobody's perfect. Not even you, Lisa. The exit should be close. The hourglass is running low. Time to pick up the pace. You're quite stubborn, Miss Lisa Trevor. No time to play. I need to find another route. Be a good girl and stay dead this time. And so I was reborn like a phoenix emerging from the flame. I no longer needed umbrella. A new horizon stretched out before me. I had risen beyond the human race and cheated death itself, leaving nothing to oppose me. Raccoon City was a town under the thumb of Umbrella. The virus washed over the city like a tidal wave, and in its wake left a living hell filled with ungodly creatures. Umbrella, under the guise of helping the hapless citizen, sent in their private military, the UBCS security force. Jill Valentine, a member of STARS, finds herself still trapped in the nightmare she thought she left behind with the mansion incident. You okay? I'm fine. That's some good shooting. We've got to get out of here. A rescue chopper's on its way. Come with me.
Are you with Umbrella? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Save us? It's Umbrella's fault that all of this happened in the first place. Hey, hey, easy, Chica. I'm just a hired gun. Grill me later. Come on! I really didn't know Umbrella was behind this. We have to let the world know what happened. Yeah, but first, we have to make it out of here alive. We can go through here to get to the police station. Alright, I'll hurry up. Listen. At dawn, this town is gonna be destroyed by a missile. They're gonna wipe out the town? We don't have much time. Let's move. Find some way to stop him. I don't think it matters how much lead we pump into him. Be careful! We need to find something with a little more kick. We've got it now! Looks that way. He survived that? Aim for that barrel and back. There it is. Uh, all 
those people. Thus, Raccoon City vanished from the map. However, not everything disappeared with the town's annihilation. The nightmare would continue over the next few years as the survivors fought on. It is important to remain calm and collected, even in the most extreme situations. In Umbrella's underground laboratory, I forgot that wisdom. Something about the meeting with Leon changed me. First things first, though. I must escape this town and survive in order to accomplish my objective. I can save the truth for after I make it out alive. See this? It's a tissue fragment with Birkin's G-Virus. Well, despite some setbacks, you have proven your value to us. Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. And two, an Umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on it, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G-Virus sample is required. If the T-Virus did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? You can have it. You think I'm reckless? Don't you? You stole the computer core from your own company. I wouldn't exactly call that stable. The people who go down in history as its heroes are never stable. Inside UMF-013 is all of the research data. With that, Umbrella will rise from the ashes. I survived the fate of Raccoon City thanks to Wesker's warning. 
Of course, I knew the only reason my life was spared was because I had the G-Virus tissue fragment. But I would settle things in time. We were both used to being backstabbed and manipulated. I had a feeling our partnership would last a little while longer. Alpha Team here. Respond. This is Nighthawk. I have secured G. I'm all that is left of Alpha Team. I'm en route to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Once again, only you survived, Mr. Death. Roger that. Don't be late. Mission accomplished. The survival rate was 4%, and valuable human resources were lost. But that is war. The mission objective takes priority over everything else. Holding to that principle is why I have never failed a mission. The death cannot die. Umbrella stock plummeted with government inquiries into their involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Before long, they were able to redirect responsibility for the incident. Part of the blame was cleverly shifted to the American government. Umbrella had strong ties and deep pockets, thus they were able to drag out the legal proceedings. Over time, it appeared that all evidence of Umbrella's involvement had vanished with the missile touchdown. How convenient for them. Though fortune has a way of turning when you least expect it. It was the year 2003. Umbrella had a base of operations in Russia where they were working on a new BOW. They were preparing to arm the unstable regions of the world with their bioweaponry. Chris and Joe had joined a regional biohazard containment unit and had heard rumors about this nightmarish facility. They recklessly plunged in to shut it down. They have no idea of the awesome and terrible power that awaits them with the new B.O.W., Talos. Everybody prepare for landing. Stay on guard. We can't afford any mistakes. I really hope this new bioweapon is just a rumor. We'll just take out whatever they throw at us. Chris, something about this floor. Yeah, I noticed. Abandon hope. The nightmare ends here and now.
It's probably where they test BOWs. I'm sure you understand the thrill of battle, and the rush that comes with the feeling of being alive after a good battle. Another Umbrella Psycho. The latest in Umbrella's product line. Codename Talos. A pinnacle of biological weapons. All controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. Rockets? We need to shoot them down. So this is what they've been developing. What do we do now? Nothing seems to be working. We have to find a weakness. I hope this is wearing it down. He's a tough one. If they can make it, we can break it. Fighting yet? It's just a matter of time. Let's finish him. Unfortunately, Talos is out of control. The T virus inside of his body will continue to mutate until even a god cannot control it. the trick. Chris! Aim for that tear in the shoulder and chest! Concentrate fire! Right! done for. We struck a fatal blow. The end of Umbrella is just a question of time. But... Yeah. He's still out there. The Talos Project Umbrella placed so much faith in had failed. However, Chris and the others were a little too quick to pat themselves on the back. It was not by justice or faith that they would prevail against Umbrella that day. No, it was only with my help that they were able to succeed. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. Ironic, perhaps, but the truth can be so cruel. The only thing that can defeat power is more power. That is the one constant in this universe. However, there is no point in power if it consumes itself. I will enlist the help of an old friend against our common foe. I will use one pawn to eliminate the other and emerge with the spoils for myself. authorization from the Russian government. That facility is an umbrella base. Yeah. We can't let them get away with this. Chris, 
It appears our fates are forever intertwined. Detected. Casualties? Over 90% of the research staff have been eliminated. In the primary contamination zone, the survival rate is less than 2%. It is such a waste to destroy this place. But we don't have a choice. With you and Talos, we can always start over. Proceed with the Talos activation. We need him operational before the Russian government arrives. Acknowledged. Resetting activation program schedule. Two airborne objects are approaching at high speeds toward the facility from the northeast. Did you think it would be that easy? I'll enjoy this challenge. <laughs> this. Hmm, a shortcut. Comrade Wesker, welcome to my humble abode. I see you are still resolved to go down with the ship, Colonel. Umbrella's not going anywhere. All of the pain, the punishment, and the difficulties help to make Umbrella stronger. It's a shame you couldn't understand. Stand aside. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here are a few of my old friends I'd like to introduce you to. Charmed. Russia's such a peaceful place, don't you agree? A perfect place for your final resting spot. I'm more powerful than last time. A protective cone that leaves the head. Name Talos. A pinnacle of biological weaponry, all controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. You got Ivan? Not bad, Comrade. So this is it. Yes. She was activated that night at the mansion. I extracted her before Raccoon City became nothing more than a memory. Her and I have a lot in common. She linked with Talos, desiring more information and more data. She wanted to know the truth, no matter how painful that reality may be. That thing is merely a tool. What it wants is something the user determines for it. 
It's good that we can be honest with each other. That's the sign of a healthy relationship. It's a shame that this friendship has to end. Your lack of creativity disappoints me. I expected more from you. Yeah. No, we are not done yet! Requested data transfer complete. The summation of Umbrella on one desk. This should come in handy. It looks like you have finished what you came to do as well, Cress. Just as I predicted. Goodbye, fair lady. Data format initialized. 80 seconds until completion. Umbrella will be gone forever. They held the power of the T-Virus in their hands, but they lack the proper vision. The true vision of the future. And now, it falls to me to usher in this new future. found guilty on all charges of crimes related to the Raccoon City incident five years ago. The prosecution has remained quiet on how they acquired proof of Umbrella's involvement, and the defense plans to appeal the decision on the grounds that the evidence is not admissible in court. The Russian Ministry of the Interior has agreed to cooperate with the FBI in finding the whereabouts of Oswald E. Spencer. Mr. Spencer has been determined to have played a large part in the biohazard that contaminated Raccoon City. An anonymous witness close to the suspect was invaluable in providing evidence about Mr. Spencer's involvement. My dear Spencer, how the mighty have fallen. Your umbrella has folded. And now, you are a fugitive in the same world you once sought to control. Welcome to the Umbrella Archives. Please select the desired service from the menu. We shall meet again before the conclusion of this drama. Then, you will learn of the history. I will write for this world. <laughs>